Hi, today I want to show you something new I made. I made this launcher here with Python of my own programs. And you see here you got um, some buttons here, like this one, where I can create some quizzes here. Uh, clicking, double clicking on this. You see I got a, I got a quiz here with uh, that I can print. And uh, and another um, another thing that this uh, this one creates it's uh, a quiz here with the name of the students code to put here to convalidate their inputs and so this is the first one this is another for another class and this is another program here to update um, the uh, the site where I get some some stuff for my students then the commit button here it's another program this one is uh, my monetization kind of program on Excel so um, let's see uh, how this works and I got so this launch program here let me show you my code on Sublime. It's very simple, very not such big code. And as you can see here, um, the buttons that you see are using a button, custom button that has some changes from the original um, to enter buttons because in this class here um, we have we initialized the, um, the button the key button a classic a command for uh, for the Kinto with this new button class where I pass the text here I pass another variable here um, that I will show you how to use it I pass a function a method of of this class and then the zero zero coordinates let's say so for the grid system so that this is on the first row the second the third row and so on and on the first column that is column zero and then we have this text um, that you have seen here <coughs> Now, uh, I want to make also some changes, maybe, but um, let's see how the class works here. We got uh, this class button, and for every instance of the button, we have a text, this other text here, a function, and a position. So, um, this is created with, uh, with the Tkinter, or better, the TTK. Um, of the Kinter module and uh, it has a text the command here is a function that passes uh, so this is the function and this is the argument of the function there is a text that goes in some of these functions here and uh, and here for example you see there is no self here because this is not an instance of the, a method of the instance but is a method of the class so that that is uh, the same for every every instance so this this function here this method makes uh, start another app made with Python that is this one and this other instead changes the direction the directory and uh, and starts another um, another application it changes the directory because uh, this application here uh, uses some files into the the local directory and then there is the commit button okay, uh, that I use to update my um, uh, my github page github repository and then I have this simple xls file that is called by another another excel file so 
this is a way let me put another thing here this is a way to launch many applications or files with Python let's see the most simple of this one that is the this monetization Excel this is this Excel file where I get track on some um, data about YouTube channel and so on and and so I I give it the name and the text I give it the function that should be uh, run when I click the button and so the function will make this uh, file to be opened and the position so it's very simple for me to to make these buttons here so very clear I don't have to mess around with the, with the code of the um, of the action of the of the button and it's all very very so easy so what you want to do for yourself if you want to use this program of course you don't you don't need this all this function for yourself so I'm just gonna create for you the code that you can use for your own purposes so I will copy this one with the class button and then I will copy just one of the examples here maybe the most simple here and we don't even need here the text we just need this and and then what what you need to do yes um, let's say let's create an uh, hello world world thing here I want to save this into launch dot pi program here and this I want to call this ex example for launch dot txt so we want to open this file just make this simple action just to show you how this launcher works let's put the main loop thing here and let's call it we want we don't even need to call it any we just yeah let's leave it this way and this will also put okay here is the grid method that he uses to put row a column and stick it to the left so this is just we don't need this and we need the OS here because now we are going to uh, def let's say open open hello world let's call it this way let's put event here and then OS start file and uh, Here we're gonna put our the name of the file that we want to open and we're gonna change here our function to what button open hello world okay so we have to put this function here and then here we get change the test open example 
example text. Let's run it. So here it is, our window. Open example test, and here you you have your program here. And so you can do all your launchers. So if you don't remember, you have many programs that you use constantly and don't remember. Let's see, Hello World 2, for example. Okay, let's call it Hello World 2. So if you get another one here, you just go and duplicate it. Example test 2. And if you want to make it more, uh, don't want to do one of these for every kind of things that you open. You can go button open text and you can put here the the text. same here I misspelled something change here the name probably we don't need this event thing here okay and we got to change also the this must be the first row and this is zero row okay now we got two different buttons and Okay, the second is working. The first one is not working because I forgot to change the name here of the text. So this is the first one. This is the second one. And so now we created our uh, little app here to open different text files with, uh, with this graphic user interface. And remember, you don't. You can create other function here to, for example, commit your GitHub, or you can uh, use it to open another Python file. So you have many many scripts, and you don't remember where they are. Don't want to always figure find them on the hard drive. You can create this simple launcher here to make it. You can also give it some geometry okay and then you can make it here your launcher this um, little script application graphic user interface to open the programs that you more um, you use often and you maybe you have them on your computer a lot of, of of files so you wanna just put here the the most important for you 
so that you can find them and you can all of course you can save this one open again okay and so I think you can start from this and do many many nice things because Python is very good for automi auto automations and things like this to simplify your your workflow etc and I'm using I get mine this one and I and I'm gonna and I find it very useful very useful because sometimes I, I update these files I don't remember which is the last one that I, uh, that I am using and uh, and so I think I'm gonna use this and I I think it could be useful for you too thank you